Real RV Reviews with Real Owners. Welcome everybody to Travel About and our new series, RVs in the Wild, where we invade the homes of people in RV parks who live full time and get the full story of their RVs. Today we'll be invading the home of John and Carrie and checking out their grand design, Solitude. I'm gonna start with a walk around. This is a Grand Design Solitude ST326X. And we're gonna do a little walk around, then we're gonna do a tour and talk, of, talk with the owners. All right, guys, this is John and Carrie. They are the owners of this Grand Design Solitude. And you guys have been living in this RV for how long? Six, Six years, years. full-time. Full-time. Yeah, and this is your first RV? Second. Second. Second RV. And how are you liking it? Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Yeah. Yeah, we don't hear loving it too much. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good to hear. If anyone interested in a Grand Design, I've always heard they build uh, very, very good um, RVs. Now, this RV features a rack and pinion hydraulic slide here and on the other side I assume yep. and a Schwinn tech I believe Schwinn it's called in the bedroom. electric slide in the bedroom that's pretty common uh, there you have a dual axle here and you have upgraded to disc brakes Se disc brakes and 7,000 pound axle 7,000 pound axle disc brakes that was an upgrade not from Grand Design you yep. the third party upgraded third that party. Mm -hmm. and we're just gonna take a quick walk around and uh, if there's anything else that you can think of, John, uh, this one came with the slide toppers, or did you add them? No, they ca they no, came with. We added, we added those on, mm -hmm. and we added the uh, the shades here too. Okay, those are nice. I wish I had these shades. Do they hold up good going down the road? The shades, no problem. No problem. Okay, that's nice. I see you got a backup camera. Is that Furion or is that Grand it's Design? Furion. That is Furion. And uh, when we get inside, we'll see what's in this slide. Uh, I think this has living room in the rear. Living room in the rear, mm -hmm. kitchen. And bedroom up and front. Kitchen and bedroom, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, one thing I did notice on this one is he has some very large pass-throughs, a lot of storage here. Uh, I know it's full of stuff, but uh, this is very wide. Uh, a lot of RVs are very narrow, mm -hmm. uh, but he has a very wide uh, pass-throughs. Um, generator up front. No generator. No generator, but room for a generator. Uh, oh, I have one in the pass-throughs. Oh, oh, yeah, right. You got a portable generator. Portable. Right. Okay. But there's, it can you can put a. I could. Yeah, if you needed one. Okay. Excellent. Uh, came with the Rotoflex. Nope. Put it on. You added the Rotoflex. I added the Rotoflex. Okay. This is the same one that I have on the Alliance. It came. Mine came with it. Uh, I love mine. Does a great job. Yeah. What came on it originally when you just bought it? Just the original standard. Uh, just no, no pivot. No pivot. No nothing. Oh, rough ride. Just a lot of chucking and a lot of rough rides. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Great, great. Let's swing on back around. And I notice you're pulling with a dually. Oh yeah. Yeah, you got to right. Oh yeah. Yeah. Anybody watching hasn't got a dually, and you're thinking about buying one of these, go go look at the truck first. Yeah. You're you're, you're if you don't have it. You're gonna get it. Oh, I wanted to ask you about this jack system. Uh, now, this is hydraulic. Electric. You're electric. And this is what does this do? It adjusts the uh, leg length. Okay. Up and down, but we've gone to the Anderson can, and means that with the Anderson can, I don't have to lift so much, but it's more stable. Okay. Awesome. And two propane tanks. One on each side. Thirty. Thirty gallon. Thirty gallon. Okay, that's pretty standard. And uh, I think the big upgrade you did on the outside. Yeah, let's look at the slide. Now this slide was uh, put in third party, purchased what from Amazon? I think you said right. Yeah, third party, which is me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John is the third party. And uh, ignore all everything else. Everybody's 
past series looked like this, but this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, it's a more ride. And this slide, first off, let's look at how deep this is. This All is a across. really wide, deep pass-through, guys. And look at that slide. And this can hold, what did you say, help me, 800 pounds? 800 pounds. Yeah, that is amazing. Okay, now again, this did not come with the grand design. He added this in. Uh, and I think this was an excellent thing. Will it also and, go out the other way? And they, Yeah, it will go out the other way. Okay. And they come in uh, various sizes. Mm -hmm. And they're up to four foot wide and go all the way through. Man, they are super nice. I'm, I'm seriously considering it for myself. All right. Yeah. This is how nice it is. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Holy cow. All right, guys. Let's go inside and have a look around. This is an open floor design. We have slide here, slide out over there. Correct? Yes, this entire, okay, yeah. So this is the end of the slide. So this whole piece comes right up towards the island here then, right? Yes. This whole slide. How close to the island does it come? Um, pretty close. Looks like right, right to here. So yeah, pretty close. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first we'll do a little walk around, then we're gonna tell you some modifications that the owners have made. You may have already spotted some if you've seen one of these models on the uh, showroom floor. Some things may look a little different here. And I want to show you the, uh, the tall ceilings and the big fish. <laughs> Probably didn't come with it, did it? Yeah. And before we start talking about the uh, modifications, let's just check out the bathroom and the bedroom. Oh, nice countertops. Look at that sink. Is that copper? Yes. Fairly nice, like hammered copper. I've not seen that before. I installed it. Did you? Yeah. It's very nice. They had one of these. This big in there? Yeah, it's standard. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Okay, so we got a nice, nice shower. Standard toilet. And is this a king or queen? Queen. Queen? It's got, yeah, I should, I should have to guess because you've got a lot of space to walk around. Like our king, who <laughs> got to turn sideways to get through there. Okay. Very nice, and this is a little similar to, to the uh, Paradigm, uh, the Alliance Paradigm. It has a cubby hole over on this wall. Very nice. And do you have washer dryer hookups up front? There is a hook washer dryer on this side, but we tended not to do that. Okay, so you just have closet. Yeah. Sure. So we kept the closet. And, and you've got one ducted AC here. And another one in the other room. It's ducted as well? Yep. Okay. Two ACs. Two ACs. Uh, do you know what they are? 13.5s or 15? They're 13.5s and uh, they're... Um, Ooh, Dometic? Dometic. Dometic, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so they're both ducted. Yeah, I see. So you got that and then all the duct work running back yep. up through here. Are they working pretty good for you? They are now. They, what happened? <laughs> uh, well, we always had a problem with uh, trying to keep it cool. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we were in South Dakota, and we were reaching temperatures of 100, 110. And I decided to pull the covers off, and where the duckings go, and they come through to the to the ceiling, there were holes. There was no, nothing was patched up or just duct taped. Dope. Oh my just gosh. Wide open. So you're losing all that airflow. You're losing all that airflow. Good lord. So I did this one and then I did the, the bedroom too. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we when I finally got done with it, we were at um, 110 degrees at 75 degrees inside. That's how cold it got here. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. All right. I think the first thing that should be obvious is the floor looks different. Yes. This is not the original Grand Design Solitude floor. Is it? Nope. And who put this floor in? I did. It's very nice floor. Now, is this linoleum or is this actual wooden floor? It's a uh, snap together. So this is this is wood. Yeah, this all snaps right. in. Right, snaps in. Yep. Seams. I know what you're talking about. And you did up on the slides as well. Both yep. slides. Both slides. Yeah. Now all the way into the bathroom and into the bedroom. What was under it? Linoleum. linoleum. St standard linoleum. I glued it in because. That it was supposed to be a floating floor. Well, in an RV, yeah. that ain't gonna happen. Yeah. Now, I also noticed where you're standing uh, that there's a table and chair here. Yep. Uh, that doesn't look like it came from Grand Design. It is. Uh, what it did is it used to come out 
uh, from the wall out this way. Mm. I turned it, and then we, as we can uh, actually move, walk in between the here and the hallway, gave us 18 inches of walk room. Nice. While the slides are in. So you can actually walk through here. Yes. The slides are in. Uh huh. Very nice. Very nice. Of course, your, of course, your bathrooms go that way. So right. if you need to use the bathroom, you still get in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a great feature of we fifth, got of rid of the, <laughs> the couches. Yep, yep. That was where I was heading to. So normally there probably would have been a sleeper here, a pull-out sleeper couch, most likely on this side. Oh, it was on this side. Yep. Oh, you took that one out too. Yep. Oh wow, you took everything out. Let's start over here then. So you had a couch here. Two uh, two captain's chairs or what do you want to recliners mm -hmm. yep and they uh and you opted for uh two individual swivel chairs yeah because of the reason we got opted for that is because the uh the chairs started peeling at the top oh do these rock as well yeah uh no they do recline back and they swivel and they have a foot pad out too very nice very nice they look really comfortable yeah. who makes these chairs any idea <laughs> e trailer Really? Yeah. Okay. I've been on their website. Yeah. They got lots of great stuff. So. Yeah, why not? Awesome. Okay. Let's see. Let's keep going. So this fireplace. couch is fireplace. Let's look at the fireplace. The fireplace was just a standard uh, fireplace. Mm -hmm. we cha I changed it out. Oh, great stone. And then we put a uh, brick, um, the brick facade or whatever they call it. Surround. What do you call it? Yeah. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Greystone is the brand of my stove, my oven in my RV. Yeah. I didn't know they made other products. And then we got rid of the pull-out couch here with the bedroom. Mm -hmm. um, nobody wanted to sleep on it because it was so uncomfortable. Oh, so is ours. It's terrible. So we got rid of that, and we put in this we got from uh, uh, Amazon. Oh, it looks like an Ikea kind of thing. It sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a perfect fit in there, though. Yeah. Is it secured in, or you just got it free? No, it is secured in. It is secured, yeah. Yeah, secured. it has straps in the locking in the back. Okay. So if I need to move it, I can unlock it. And now, as we... The same uh, with the couch. The, the, the chairs, too, they're locked down. They're locked down. Need to be. Uh, let's see. One thing we see missing is a television. So your mystical, magical television is over here. Oh, it's electric pop-up style. Fancy. Fancy, fancy. This is what those uh, million-dollar Tiffins have. Yes. <laughs> that's fine. You don't this, have to come all the way up. So that's a uh, 55, I guess. Uh, Close to. This is 50. 50 inch, yeah. But it's... Mo more than enough for it's, the space. Uh, 4K. Mm-hmm. Very nice, very nice. And that provides, uh, just kind of gets that out of the way and provides a nice top here if you need it. And uh, that's Vizio, so that didn't come with this either. You bought, nope. yeah, I you lost, bought, you bought that. I lost the first one in uh, from travel. The vibration and the bouncing destroyed. It literally just destroyed, destroyed it. it. Wow! And you solved that problem with your upgraded suspension yes. and um, axles and uh -huh. wheels and brakes and everything else you did that back there. Yeah. yeah. But 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 that happened during an accident, correct? I mean, that wasn't the fault of Grand Designs. No. No. So all of those. So keep in mind, guys, that wasn't a Grand Design uh, issue. That was a interstate highway issue. <laughs> yeah, we lost the axle, uh, back axle, two tires, four four springs, and all the brakes. Oh my God! I think most people would have just. Got rid of the RV. What or? was really nice is that we had the tow truck come in, bring, get us, and they took us to a place to that makes trailers, and they had us up and running in five hours. Wow. Five hours. That is just amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. So, Absolutely amazing. Okay. Uh, pantry? Oh, yeah. I saw his pantry the other day, and we're going to show that pantry off. Uh, I go into a lot of RVs, and I don't usually see a pantry this size. Go ahead. Dun, dun, dun. Wow, can you see? I hope this is showing up on the camera for you. It's pretty much the same depth as most RVs, yeah, but the but the lit oh it's lit up. I lit, I put that in too. The LED strips. Yep. Very nice, very nice. And the depth is is pretty much standard, but it's the width that we got here is just incredible. And the height. I mean you, this is a pantry. I mean you can I mean 
Look at that. You got everything you need in there, and it doesn't even look cluttered. No. You should see mine. I open the door, and half the stuff <laughs> falls out. And uh, this is a nice, too. Uh, unfortunately, mine and most other ones, when they close, they're, they go right up to the shelf. What so, we did is yeah. we allied, they would have done the same, but what we did is we measured them down to where they go inside. Oh, the so door. you're cutting inside of here. Yep. Gotcha. Very nice, and that's an excellent use of that space. Then we did the uh, back backing on the kitchen here, here. Oh, yes, the backsplash, nice. In here and put a change of different backsplash. Very nice, very nice. What am I looking at there? That is a dishwasher. Well, that's something you don't see every day. No. Does it work? It works. You use it? Uh, every day. Dumps right into your great tank, I guess? Yes, it does. Who put that in? Uh, the fa the factory didn't, but the where we bought the, 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 the dealer. The dealer put it in. Well, how about that, guys? A dishwasher. You're, man, you're living the high life here, aren't you? <laughs> Woo! All right, we're back up here in the master bathroom. Uh, the only bathroom, correct? It's the only in this one. model, one bathroom. And there's quite a bit of renovations here other than the sinks. So I wanted to go over them real quick. Uh, first off was the backsplash. Yep. Let's get a close look. And uh, John did all this yourself, uh -huh. correct? Uh, John did all this work himself. We'll go over the sink again because I love it. I put that yeah. in too. Yeah, I want one. <laughs> uh, the mirror has been Please. replaced. There we are. Yep. Uh, and uh, if you guys know what a standard uh, RV mirror looks like, it's noth <laughs> nothing special. Uh, this is really nice. And uh, the, the uh, shower door. Now, he's replaced the shower door with this very interesting shower door that I've never seen. I guess it rolls up in here. Yep. And it's made out of... Some mylar kind of, type thing. Mylar. And it only weighs six pounds. Mm -hmm. And the one he removed, the glass door that most people get, he removed was 49 pounds. That's quite the difference if you're trying to save weight. Um, it also, as you are shower, done showering and you retract it, it squeegee helps uh, squeegee inside the system where it squeegees the water off the door. Man, I keep a squeegee inside of my shower. I got to do manual. So he doesn't have to squeegee and he doesn't have to wash dishes. This guy is li <laughs> living the life, man. And if you were wondering what's in here, this is a portable washing machine. Yep. No big deal. We see these all the time. So uh, outstanding. Any many mods in the uh, bedroom? It looks pretty... Yes. You did you? Yes. So, well, the floor, right? The floors. Yeah, you did the floor all the way the through floor. the whole RV. Um, mm -hmm. Excellent. We did the uh, all the closet. Uh, the bed's doing something, people. So this is one of those. Uh, what the hell? It's like a craft medic. Yeah, it's a uh, like. Uh, Look at this! Did you see that? The bed came up. Holy crap! So the bed comes up into a sitting position. Look at this. It's still coming. Oh, okay. This is another thing I've never seen in an RV. Yeah. Never. I took out the bed that was in here. Is the wooden floor. Foam. The, the top end pop in. Yeah. I took out 160 pounds of wood. Whew. I didn't know it was that much. I put this metal one in. We got from um, Sam's Club. 49 pounds. Man. <laughs> and then it does this, it's all electric, and it also does this too. What's happening? Oh, it's the bottom. The bedroom, the foot. The foot's coming up. The foot comes up. So the foot is the foot is rising, the head is rising, so this can bend you right into a pretzel if you want. Taco. Like a taco. There you are. And there goes your back, it just snapped in half. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty wild, and of course he's doing all that by a remote control, guys. Yeah, all remote. So can you imagine... If you got a little hurt back or something, you need to get adjusted. Well, there it is. Sam's Club, huh? Yeah. That's, that's pretty. This is what happens when you RV full time for six years. You just start thinking about things and you start to find these resources. No, and, I, uh, did act, I did add extra uh, smoke alarm in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. There's a, there's the... Uh, we got one here and one there and one there and i got another one in the bedroom in the uh, living room mm -hmm. and in the pull through i have another one. Oh, nice just in case well if you smell a fire guess what you'll never know you had a fire yeah but if the smoke alarm's going off you know something's on you know that's not a bad idea because i've got all kinds of electronics up near my inverter and yeah. stuff it wouldn't be bad just stick a battery powered one just velcro it to the ceiling and we change them out every six months mm-hmm very nice, very nice. Thank okay, you. awesome. All right, John, so you guys have been doing this for six years now, full-time? Yes. And you've had this particular RV for... Six years. For six years, okay. And go ahead and just tell everybody, uh, let's start with, what do you like? What do you What do you love 
about your grand design? Actually, we lug the whole thing. It really is. It's very comfortable. It's built solid. Um, we've had our few problems with our, uh, like the pantry. Somebody made the drawer, the, the uh, shelving a little bit too small. And when you hit a bump, they all fell down. So I had to remanufacture the shelving. Yeah, minor things. Um, yeah. The um, biggest major thing that we had was uh, with the front jacks. Mm -hmm. um, when the sh shop put, them to put it, everything together, we only had one battery. Mm. It's supposed to have two batteries. Okay. And what it did is it cooked one of the... Uh, the motors on the uh, on the unit here, so I had to jack it up with whatever I could and put it on the truck, take it to the shop. They put a new one on, and then not more than ten days later, the right one cooked. Wow! Seven hundred and fifty dollars later to get a tow truck to take it to me to them, and they had it in in an hour. But it was the uh, the problem with they promised me a, a tech to come out and put it in. So we were stranded Grand, on the beach. Grand Design promised you that. Yes, okay. Grand Design, and they, we were pro, we were on the beach for ten days. Yeah, it was tough, but we uh, <laughs> seven hundred fifty dollars to get it there. Did and, they reimburse you for towing? No. Well, that's kind of crappy. No, had to pay for it all. Huh. Um, okay. Uh, other than that, it just. Is you, have you used Grand Design for any other support? We did. We asked them. That we had before we put the floor in. We had a spot here in the floor that uh, the water. They had an automatic uh, uh, shut off uh, and close uh, uh, vent. Mm -hmm. It didn't close in the rain, oh, so it came down it, here and water. saturated the floor, yeah. and the floor buckled up. And they tried to attempt to fix it, but. No avail. Mm. So I kept throwing a rag over it, a uh, rug over it, and <laughs> <laughs> hide the problem. Right? Hide the problem. So finally, we decided I was tired of it, and we did put it back together. Okay. Now I've asked the uh, other question. Okay. Everyone wants to know if they're out shopping. Uh, it's really all about support. Um, but so, what do you not like about your Grand Design Solitude? Is if anything, what do you? You've been in it for a long time. What? What? I mean, you've changed an enormous amount of stuff. But before you did all that, what was really bugging you? What? What did you just not like? If, if anything, maybe you loved everything. I don't know. Um, I find a lot of our viewers um, pretty much fifty-fifty. They hate as much as they love. Yeah, the the slides. Uh, you have to keep them pretty well lubricated because if not, they won't come in and out. Yeah. But um, I had to put uh, resurface the roof already. Oh, and, and already? Uh-huh. How many years after new did you do that? Five and a half years. So just recently? We just did it. In, just recently. When we were in, uh, up north. Did you have Grand Design do it? Nope, me. Did, so it didn't fall under their under their warranty? No. Interesting. We tried to get Grand Design to do the floor, but when we had a problem with the shop, we did not know that the shop when you write all your tickets and all that, they were not entering, entering into the computer to go back to oh, geez. Um, the main yeah. location. So nothing ever got entered into the system. So we, when we called Grand Design and told them what we were doing in that and what the problem was, they said, sorry, there's nothing here on black and white that shows anything oh. like that. So mm. we were uh, pretty well ticked about it. Yeah. So, But that was the... the place they got repaired at it was their fault it wasn't yeah, grand design's was fault. fault still no. you think grand design but would still have, grand design would do something about it i think it. they would have stepped up a little bit yeah you know? but they did buy one of the motors on the uh, uh actually uh, lipper bought the motor yeah. no grand design bought it lipper said no you're out of you're out of warranty so but lipper did it anyway our yeah. grand design did it anyway they did it well, anyhow well, that was a nice little yeah and uh when you purchased your rv don't don't give me any numbers or anything but did you buy extended warranties and all that or did you just get what we bought they got. the extended warranty and then found out that we just threw our money down the toilet <laughs> because we couldn't use it anywhere. Nobody would take the the, the warranty. Yeah. So we kind of lost. Uh, so this is the kind of things people want to know. You know, we've uh, we've toured alliances, we've toured uh, Grand Designs now, and some other RVs, and 
and people are out there shopping. And it's hard to shop just going to the sales lots because mm, I know salesmen are going to be watching this, but uh, they don't always tell you everything. They yeah. want, they're wanting to make a sale. Yeah. So they don't really tell you everything you need, and they kind of tell you what you want to hear. Well, I wished I would have known this trick when I bought this RV. If we would have went to a re uh, show, yeah. an RV show, oh, and saw this unit like we did see it in their at their location again back at their shop, mm -hmm. we did not know it was in a show. If I had known that it was in a show, I could have got it for use. Oh sure. So they put this particular model in a show and didn't disclose that. Uh -uh. Well, that doesn't seem right, but that's a dealer for you, man. Mm. We've but had we've had bad experience with, with a little dealer. bit of negotiating. I got what I wanted out of it, so always good, always good. Okay, guys, uh, I believe that's it. Thank John, thank Carrie for letting us look around their house, and uh, you've done some uh, some wonderful upgrades. And this is what people do: uh, full timers, they turn it into what they want. They buy what they got, and then they slowly over the years convert it into what they want. And so you've got your own custom. Grand Design Solitude now. Exactly. Unlike anyone else's, you're not going to find another one with that style fireplace and the nope. couches and things. So um, so you've kind of done the work. So if you ever put it up for sale, um, you've said, well, if somebody might see it and say, wow, he's already done everything. <laughs> what a it's deal. Yeah, what a deal. Yeah. <laughs> he's fixed everything. He's upgraded everything. He's modified everything. But I wish that Grand Design would put uh, the heavy-duty brakes tires and, and, and uh, axles when it comes off the shop uh, off the floor your disc brakes were not that expensive as an add-on no so guys shop around if you're looking for them i'm going to be looking for them uh it's it seems like a, a a very important thing to do you know you're hauling around up to twenty thousand pounds and you got to hit the brakes and this man can tell you you need your brakes to work because he had his brakes not work and that's why he upgraded and uh, having your brakes not work when you got to slam on the brakes is um, something nobody ever wants to have to go through. Cool. So you picked up your disc brakes uh, third party from? Yeah. From Performance Trailer Brakes. Perform now, so let's stop right here. You're not an affiliate. Nope, I'm not an affiliate. They don't I'm know not, you. They I'm don't. not getting anything out of it. Nope. I'm just plugging them just because, they, just, because they, did, they do awesome work. There you go, guys. So I'll put that uh, information in the description box for you. And again, it's... Performance Trailer Break. Performance Trailer Breaks, and they're nationwide, correct? They're nationwide. They'll come to you. Yep. Schedule and they do, uh, for uh, Solitude or any Grand Design, they do all the rallies. Mm -hmm. They go to the rallies and put all disc brakes in every, whoever wants to pay for it. Do they do anything other than a Grand Design? Yes, they do. Okay, so do, just give have, a call. Definitely. Give them a call. Go to their website. Check it out. Um, just ask for Michael. Ask for Michael. There you go. And again, uh, nobody's getting anything out of this. They don't know we're making this video. It's just he's really happy with his breaks yeah. and their job. So, And that's it, guys. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, thank everybody for watching. Appreciate it. Make sure you leave me some comments. Uh, let me know if you picked up a, a Grand Design, uh, what yours is like, how you're doing with it. Uh, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. Hit the like button, and I'll see you soon on the next video.